G'day everyone, I'm Tim Thompson. Today I'm going to show you a variation on my very popular how to make a halter video that uses nylon rope. You'll see here that Doris is modelling an absolutely beautiful halter that you can make in a variety of different widths and you can make in a variety of different colours to suit your stud for showing. It's also really soft and gentle on your hands. Not that Doris needs much of a hold anyway. Right, so we're going to design and make a simple halter like this out of dual braid nylon rope. First thing you'll need is you'll need yourself a nice new bundle of dual braid nylon rope. Burn the end so that it doesn't unravel. Next, get yourself two arm lengths, one, two of the rope and cut it here. Burn off the end so that it doesn't fray. It helps if you round the end off a little bit on the bench as it cools. Now this bit's not strictly necessary, but what I'm doing is I'm making myself a simple jig out of some decking timber and a couple of nails. If you're making a heap of these halters, say for a stud or for a show group, this is a really useful step because you don't have to measure the nose band each time. I'm going to 25 centimetres for the nose band of a sheep or goat. Now we've got our rope and our jig sorted, we use the secret ingredient, a common fencing tool that's going to help us make a halter without having to go through the complex process of splicing nylon rope. You've got two options. You've got the cheap option, which is fencing clip pliers and single individual fencing clips, or you've got the more expensive option. If you're used to doing a lot of fencing, you'll probably have a set of these lying around, and that is a set of fencing clip pliers that are automatic. Regardless of your budget, either one of these devices is going to let you make heaps and heaps of these halters for next to no cost. First up, I'm going to make the end of the nose band. I'm going to loop the rope over there with about an inch of overlap. I'm going to bring my fencing pliers up and remember we need enough loop for the rope to pass comfortably through but not be too slack. I'm then going to close my fencing clip pliers around that, turn it over and put another clip on so that I've got a clip in both directions. Then I'm going to come back and do a third clip in a third direction. Three clips makes a nice steady band around here and that won't come undone. Now that I've got my eyelet sorted I'm going to slip that down over my right hand nail with the end of the rope pointing upwards. I'm then going to come over the top of this other nail and without putting too much stress on it I'm going to have the remainder of my rope pointing towards me. Once again put a clip around your rope and finish off with two more going in opposite directions. There's my nose band of my halter sorted. Now you might be a little bit concerned about the metal clips on these. Well there's two more steps to make this as secure as we possibly can. First off, go around them with a set of pliers, just squashing in the end bits and making them perfectly round. Next we're going to cut a couple of bits of shrink wrap off and we're going to use these to cover over the metal and make everything look nice and tight and storeboard. And now we're just about finished. All we have to do is thread our lead rope through the first eyelet hole that makes our headband and through the second eyelet hole to make our chin strap. And there we have our completed halter with our fixed headband over the top to the first eyelet 
and then our adjustable chin strap underneath to the second eyelet and you've got around about half a meter of cord to hang on to. Uh, that's enough to get purchase on, to put knots in it if you want it not to slip out of your hand, but also not too long so that the animal trips over it. So there you go guys, for under a couple of bucks, any six mil or eight mil nylon rope, a few bits of shrink wrap and fencing clips can be used to make a really useful sheep or goat halter. I hope that tip was useful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider hitting that little red button down there to subscribe to the channel. You've got no idea how much it helps making more videos. Until then, I hope your adventures in the world of agriculture are as fun as mine. Catch you around.